Okay, today I'm going to give a short tutorial on how to use Modern Archon. This is the version 0 0.8. I will uh, make this program available for download on my website. It's layer.blogdns.com. Alrighty, first things first. If you haven't connected to a server first, you're just going to want to enter your host here, which would be uh, your IP address of the machine that is running uh, your Call of Duty server. Or uh, I think it'll also take uh, URLs, domains, subdomains, uh, any of the above. Uh, you're going to want to put your Archon password where it says Archon password. Uh, default port, unless you've changed it on your server, is 28960. Okay. You can click Connect and Save Server. Once you do that, it's going to actually be in this list every time you load from then on out. Okay. So you can see that I'm set up to connect. You just want to hit Connect. Alrighty. Uh, within Modern Archon, you have some different tabs. You have players. This is going to list all the players currently in your server. It gives you some control here to where you can kick them, message them, so on and so forth. Uh, we move over to the Punk Buster tab. Uh, you can do almost the same thing in this one, but it's going to be a Punk Buster ban or a Punk Buster kick, well, which will actually write to the Punk Buster file, uh, the global file, <coughs> to tell other servers uh, that this person was a cheater or so on and so forth. Okay, you've got your game types where you can set uh, whatever game type configuration you have, your score limit, so on and so forth. Uh, you just have to set it and then hit Send Config. It will write it to your configuration file. Uh, basic settings, you know, you just uh, have your, your various settings, your health, yada, 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 uh, kill cam, so on and so forth. Uh, yet again, Send Settings would we'll write it to the config file. Uh, some things that Modern Archon does are not a permanent write, they're a temporary write, so some things may not stick. Uh, you can change your map. Here you can just select your maps. Uh, keep in mind it does not display uh, custom maps. Uh, for a custom map, you just type in the map name here, and then click the load map. You can set it to whatever uh, game type you'd like. Uh, map rotation. You can actually bring in your rotation straight here, or you can make a new rotation down here, and you can send it. Uh, if you edit something up here, you can update the rotation. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what the archive limiter does. It says it allows you to create limited access profiles. Um, so I'm assuming you can create multiple archon uh, profiles. Config Builder, uh, that would actually build a config file for you. Uh, you have your console, uh, if you know any of the actual Archon commands, you can type them straight into here, as opposed to typing them in the Archon window in the game. Uh, <coughs> chat, I believe that's for the, uh, something to do with the audio uh, chatting. Your message center is pretty cool. You can just send a message to the entire server straight from here, or you can uh, set up a saved file uh, that you have to load and then start each time you start uh, that you run Modern Archon. I actually normally leave it running. Uh, that way, it'll continue to send my message. For instance, you see Welcome to Slayer's Fortune server. We run several custom maps. Check out our site for downloads and information at slayer.blogdns.com. Okay, I normally change this to 60. It's just the interval in between each time it'll send. Uh, if you have multiple messages, uh, it'd be the gap in between them. Uh, I set it to 60. And then uh, once you wrote whatever you wanted, you'd want to save it, obviously. And then you can load it each time you uh, open up Archon. Uh, so you just change it to whatever interval you want. You hit Start. It will not keep your interval saved. You'll have to change that each time. Uh, a lot of people just leave it at the default 120, so every two minutes it would come up. Um, the I, I run it every one minute because I do run custom servers, and I want people to see that message so they can get that information before it changes to a custom server and they're locked out. Uh, you can do a global refresh or refresh all settings uh, coming from your configuration files. Uh, this is just an alternative uh, to using the Archon tool within the game. Uh, it actually is a lot user, a lot more user friendly uh, than the in-game 
uh, Archon commands. Uh, however, the downside is you do have to leave it running uh, in order for the commands to stay in effect on some things, and uh, you do have to minimize your game to use it when wanting to change a map or change a setting. Uh, other than that, uh, I think that's about all there is to modern Archon. Uh, there is other programs out there like uh, Archon Max, but uh, this is the best one I've been able to find. I'm sure this is not the current version, uh, but it does everything I need it to do. Um, well, if you have any questions on, on Archon commands or uh, how to run modern Archon uh, at a more detailed level, uh, I can probably get that information if I don't already know it and make a new tutorial all you have to do is email me and request it uh, the email is on the website at slayer.blogdns.com alrighty thanks for watching this tutorial bye